Welcome back to Done With Depression. I just applied for my US passport and we're gonna talk a little bit about that today and the experience that I had um, doing that. So I got there at around 10.15 uh, and the passport place opens at 10.30. And so I had already gone online. Um, you can just Google um, get your US passport or whatever, and it'll take you to the site. So I had already filled out the application, printed it out. Um, you have to have your birth certificate and a copy of your birth certificate and your driver's license and a copy of the front and back of your driver's license. And uh, there were already a lot of people in line when I got there. There was probably like 10 to 15 people in line and I tried to make an appointment online, but for some reason it wasn't really working. It just showed me where the closest office was. Um, but it was helpful to do that because I saw that you can take your picture there and they'll do the money order for you there. So um, there's a couple different fees associated with getting your passport. One, you have to send off to the passport people, which is why you have to have a money order. And the other one, is a acceptance fee, which uh, I paid the post office. And then there's also to take your picture if you don't do your own picture, which it was just easier for them to do it. And I think that's $15. So anyway, I got there and the line goes pretty quick when you first get in because essentially you're just signing up for an appointment for that day. So it starts at 10, 30, and then appointments go all the way till five at the location that I was at. And uh, although there was like 15 people in front of me, not all of them had the right stuff that they had to get. And then they had to uh, go back. So they signed up for like a later appointment. So even though there are a lot of people in front of me, they weren't all processed in front of me. So it ended up taking about an hour and 15 minutes of waiting probably. And once they called me up, it was super quick. It probably took five minutes. Maybe I had most of my stuff uh, ready. Took the picture, uh, did the payment. We talked a little bit about stocks, which was kind of cool. And that was pretty much it. But the one thing I did do wrong was when I printed out the application, I printed, out, printed it out um, two-sided, so front to back, and you're not allowed to do that. Uh, the application it itself has to be um, single-sided or the front part of the application and the back part of the application can't be on the same page. So if you have the front and then directions on one side and then the back and then directions, that's okay. But the two parts of the application have to be on uh, different pages. So I just had to refill it out when I got there, um, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, it was a little bit like DMV, I was getting flashbacks but uh, there were better people there uh, getting their passport than at DMV. So anyways, it ended up being $163.23. So I got the standard uh, book, they took my picture and then there's the uh, acceptance fee. So 110, uh, 35 and then 15 and then they charge you uh, couple bucks to do the money order. But it was super convenient and I could just use my card for the whole thing and it was great. So four to six weeks, I'll get my passport with my picture on it and we'll have more adventures to come.